So one of the other add-ons I wanted to introduce you to is something called Tasks. Now this package was developed by the Laravel Zero creator. So this is unique to Laravel Zero. And what this allows you to do is provide user output on a current running task. So more likely than not, most of your command line tasks that you create are gonna have multiple steps within the same command. So it could be like connect to a server, download a log file, parse a log file, etc. So given tasks allows you to provide output to the end user as those tasks run and whether those tasks completed correctly or they failed. So let's have a look at tasks. So I'm just going to make a new command to demo this. So I'm calling PHP Penguin make colon command and I'm going to call this task command. So if we come over to app commands and open up task command and if we come down to our handle method this is where we define our tasks. So to achieve this we call this task and then the task needs a title. So we could say connect into server. Now I'm not going to actually implement the functionality here. I'm just demoing the actual task part of it. And then the second parameter is a closure. And then inside of this closure is where you run your commands. So you could call other functions or run a series of commands all under the connecting server task. And then after those commands have run, so let's just put a comment here, create connection commands. And then what you need to do is either return true or false. So returning true gives you a tick next to the task and obviously returning false gives you a cross. So let's just say return true on this. And then we can create multiple tasks under this one command. So after you connected to the server, maybe you would want to create a new task and say download log files. Then inside your closure, you would obviously write the code to download the log file. And then maybe that was completed successfully as well. So we'll return true on that. And then maybe the final task, we want to open the log file and check it for errors. Check log file for errors. And then inside of the closure, we'd open that file and check. Open file and check. But let's say there was a problem with opening the file. We couldn't open it. So we want to return false to the user, say that task failed. So let's build up our signature and we're just going to give this a simple task as the uh, command to run. And then for the description, show a demo of tasks. Now let's run this. So if we just do PHP Penguin. We can see our new task in there. And let's run PHP Penguin task. You can see here a list of our tasks. So we return true for connecting to the server, so we got a tick. And we return true on downloading the log file, so we got a tick. And obviously we return false on checking the log file, so it failed. So this is a great way to provide feedback to the end user when your command does multiple things.